Good afternoon, everyone. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hi, Austin. Welcome to the show. This is Flashpoint. My name's Austin. And next to me is... Mandy Robinson. Mandy May. Mandy, Mandy May. May. <laughs> and we are happy to bring you Flashpoint, manifesting the moment of your big breakthrough. And for somebody, Mandy, somebody that's going to listen to this today, I had to put the Flashpoint sunglasses on. Because somebody's future is so bright, we got to put shades Whoa, on. Oh, love somebody, it. Somebody is going to get that book in motion. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to go, somebody's going to be provoked, stoked, evoked, and they're going to take action after today's show. Are you excited, Mandy? <laughs> Always excited. Yes, especially with the guests we've got coming on today. Very exciting. Let's get this show on the road. Let's get the show on the road. We're going to be joined by Dr. Oliver T. Reed today. And these are the official Flashpoint sunglasses. We have fun with them, but they actually have a deeper meaning. But you have to be at Flashpoint Live 4.0. That's right. Find that out. But Mandy, let's kick off the show as we always do. And, and we're going to, we're going to, we're going to start. start with the hourglass. So I'll let you take that one. Thank you, Mandy. The hourglass, and by the way, there's a storm kicking up. Both sides of the ocean. So hang on, <laughs> like hang on with us. We're gonna ride this storm out. Yes, so we are. This has been a beautiful metaphor that I don't know, I had a download, uh, divine download, and I said, we gotta get this in the show. And this is all about living in the present moment that the future, we, as much as we want to get there, you know, we want to get to the goodies right now, but we only can dial in right here. We can make right now better. We, what we found is that many people spend their th thinking time, right? The thinking time is spent on something worrying about the future. We're not talking about vision here. I'm talking about worrying about the future or regretting something that happened in the past. And what we want to do is we want to dial in. This is the gift right now. This time you're on here. This is it. You know, you clicked on for a reason. So dial in right now. And as this unfolds, look at that sand. And what we've, what we've identified is that the present moment is always unfolding. And then if we can move the hourglass just a little bit, thanks to my good friend, Gordon Melville, the long bearded guy, that we can begin to add some intention to the moment as it unfolds and almost direct it in a way. We can't control and manipulate. I can't determine where that sand's going to fall, but I can move it in a direction. And if I'm focused on my passion, I can hold it tight and let it pile up and great things can happen. So this is the invitation for you to live more in the present moment. And this hourglass launched a new show called The Power of Pure Presence every Sunday at 10 a.m. We'll talk about that later. For now, I want to turn it over to Mandy for the next Be part. Before you put that down, you might want to pick it back up. I love the fact that, no, 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 put that back, put that back. That says, no, it didn't, it's changed. Inspiration and productivity, okay. So the way that is centered in the middle inspired and productivity is perfectly placed because it's the present moment. That's all we ever have. And that's where the inspiration and the productivity takes place in the unfolding of the present moment. I just noticed that. I thought that was great. Okay. Thank you for adding that. Yeah. Okay. We'll move on. We'll move on to the Edison light bulb. So I've it's got still a, on, even though we got a storm. Yeah. We've got the light bulb there. This is a perfect reminder. This is such a great metaphor for what we can do with our life and how we think about what we do with our life. Thomas, um, Edison, Thomas Edison said this, many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. Edison said that himself. And why did he say it? Because 
he, amongst others that worked with him, are the creator of the Edison light bulb. And he created thousands of different ways to reach the success of the light bulb going on. So I'm going to add in here to that a quote by Martin Luther King. Beautiful. Never lose infinite hope, even in the face of finite disappointment. Mm. Can you imagine how disappointed Edison may have been and his colleagues at the time when each different way didn't work? It's possible that we could also become disappointed. But as he said, we could become that close to success when we fail. So here's my other take on this. Every time you switch on a light switch, think of Thomas Edison's light bulb. Switch it off, switch it on. Switch it off, switch it on. Every time you switch it on, say this to yourself. Perfect timing. Now we're going back Win to Ben Franklin. <laughs> Winners never quit and quitters never win. So switch the light bulb on. Switch the light bulb on. Winners never quit. Switch it off. Quitters never win. Switch it on. Winners never quit. Quitters it. never win. So that is the metaphor awesome. of the, the Edison light bulb. Your turn next, barring the thunder. It's awesome. We've got it this side as well. We're right in the middle of it all. Yeah. We're, we're going to have fun. I can think yeah. about Ben Franklin out there with his kite. With his kite, yeah. Trying to uh, get harness Conduct electricity. electricity. Oh, who's this crazy guy out there with a kite? But anyway, that's a whole other story. So, Mandy, thanks for setting that up. And yes. I love the fact that you associated it with the light going on and off. Let's welcome mm -hmm. our guests in today. Ivy. Ivy. Ivy, Namaste. turn your should into a must and put yes. your sunglasses on. I'm putting sunglasses on. Mine aren't handy, otherwise I'd put mine oh. on too, but that's okay. And I want to throw out some trivia here today. How about that? Oh. I will give, if you're coming to Flashpoint and you answer this question without looking it up, I will give you these sunglasses. What <laughs> year was the first electric car? What year was the first electric car? All right, we'll throw that out there. Good morning. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. <laughs> well, it is good morning for somebody. <laughs> Duchess Real DJ, prayer. namaste. Duchess DJ Love, she's a sponsor of our new show, Power of Pure Presence. We know who this is. This has got to be Carmen. Yes. With Carmen. A twist. Okay. So here's what I want to share. So we don't have the cowbell today. I got some bad news. We do not have the cowbell. But you know what we do have? I don't. <laughs> not yet, anyway. We've we always have... got a surprise. We have, in, in preparation for Flashpoint 4.0 in Philadelphia, we have the one and only Liberty Bell. Oh, sweet. We got yes. the Liberty Bell and the Liberty, Liberty Bell. Bell. Think about liberty, liberation, freedom. So Liberty, the, the bell is to highlight moments throughout the show. Aha moments. All you got to do is type in the word liberty, liberty or bell, bell and we will ring this. Moments of freedom. Yes. Been and using that word a lot lately. So we got we got a great show. We got and, and Duchess is going to be at Flashpoint Live 4.0, October 7th, 8th and 9th. We will so drop am I. that link. So am I. <laughs> I'm going to put that link in right now so we can grab that. Yeah. And we're going to set the show up here. We got a great show. We got a special guest that's going to be joining us here momentarily. So hang in there. Have you ever said this? Andy, I know you said this. Okay. I'm going to write a book someday. Oh, yes. Yes. And I did. Uh, I'm <laughs> going to write a book someday. Someday. Have you said that? I've heard, have you heard people say that? Yeah. And it's still sitting there waiting to be written. Well, today that's about to change. So if you've said that, or you know somebody that has said that, we have a very special guest here today. I'm going to introduce you to Dr. Oliver T. Reed, and I'm just going to go through a couple things that this man has accomplished. And by the way, we got a big announcement. Some of you know, but we'll announce it here. Um, but before I do, I want to share a quote of another Oliver. And this is all going to make sense. 
Many ideas grow better when transplanted into another mind than in the one where they sprang up. Mm. Now, mm -hmm. that was said by Oliver Wendell Holmes. Mm -hmm. But here's what I want to paint the picture for. Your story that you said, I, I want to write a book someday, you're going to find when you connect with somebody like Dr. Oliver T. Reed, you are in essence taking that idea out of you and, and fostering it through another individual who can reflect it back, distill it, and make it exactly what it's supposed to be. You following me on this? Totally resonate. As you know, so I'm a legacy Many ideas writer. grow better when transplanted in, transplanted into the mind, mind of another than when they first sprang up. So your story may be springing up mm -hmm. and you want to get it out, but maybe you don't know the right words, how to position it. And that's where Dr. Oliver T. Reed comes in. So let me just share a little bit about him. He's a multi-selling and award-winning author, motivational speaker. I think he's on site right now for a talk he's giving. And so we're, we're, we're glad that he had time to join us. He's the founder and president of I Am A Solution Consulting Firm. It's a human development organization providing specialized relationship consulting and coaching services. So heavily immersed in the coaching space. He's known as the writing coach. He uses cutting edge coaching techniques to help entrepreneurs, speakers, and coaches while leading them into their highest potential. And I know firsthand he dropped a name to me of somebody that he recently wrote a book for. And I know that name and I know that professional athlete. And wow. so that was really cool because re that resonated with me. He's had the distinct honor to speak to millions worldwide and coach individuals on four continents. He serves as the head writing coach and ghostwriter at, at books for athletes and subsidiary publishing advantage group. Within, here's, here's what I, this is going to, wow. Within the past seven years, Dr. Reed has published 25 best-selling books, contributed to 10 anthologies, and has won multiple awards for his literary, literary work, including the, the 2016 IALA Distinction of Excellence, Legendary Honoree, the NAACP 2016-17 Black Men Image Award, and he's been featured in Huffington Post, Black Enterprise, ABC, CBS, Fox, NBC, Amazon, Roku, and other international media outlets. So again, if you said, I'm going to write a book someday, now is the time. So I want you to help me welcome our new friend. We're collaborating, Dr. Oliver T. Reed to the show. Welcome. Yes. Hi, Dr. Reed. We're going to ring the bell <laughs> on that. There we go. I got awesome. a couple of bells here. So welcome to the show, Dr. Reed. You're on mute right now, though. We got to unmute you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I would look, I always say when I'm on mute, when all these virtual calls that I'm just practicing, but I, <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love uh, just everything about this show. And thank you, Mandy and Austin. You all really know how to welcome a guy. I appreciate you. We love we you. appreciate you. We know you're traveling. So making time to be here yes. is, is huge. Big so, time. Welcome. Big time. Can I just ask you, do you prefer Dr. Oliver, Oliver, or Dr. Reed? How would you like us to call you? However you're feeling in the flash awesome. point moment. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. So what we want to do here, for those of you, I want you to learn more about Dr. Reed's story. Uh, I'm learning more about it. Me too. And I will drop some big news. Actually, we're going to drop some big news after we get into his story. But uh, I want to ask you, are you willing to share a little bit about your story going back? Because you had some really tough moments. Your mm -hmm. accolades are, are yes. building and you're, you're just building an incredible reputation for helping people while you're building your own reputation. But sometimes people can't connect. They go, well, that's great for Dr. Ree. He's a doctor and he's written 20. But what about me? You know, I'm struggling over here and I knew I want to write a book, but I don't know what to do. So I are you willing to dive into your story a little bit here for us? Sure. I always say that. You know, I write a lot now because I had so much content growing up. And I always say that um, that my success attributes to my failure. And I always say that failure is your success in reverse. So basically, I had some struggles. I grew up uh, in an inner city uh, raised by a single mother in the projects. Um, the projects is low-income Section 8 housing. Um, I grew up there where we had something that a lot of people may know about. It's kind of cute now, 
but back in the day, it was the food stamps. We had a book of food mm -hmm. stamps that were stapled. Now you get food stamps of government assistance. They give you a cute card and you can swipe. And I think you may even can tap now with technology. So nobody really knows about yeah. you being underprivileged or underserved. But I remember uh, growing up on government cheese, um, pork that was inside of a can mm. and, uh, you know, butter. And sometimes that's all we had uh, growing up and grew up in a home that I always called, it's kind of like an incubator. So I'll back up a little bit before that. I was uh, born to my mom, single parent. My, my dad rejected me. His first words that he spoke to me uh, was that I wasn't his son because of the complexion I was at that particular time. So imagine this kid um, who by birth, I was born breech birth and it took 21 hours of labor. Uh, thanks mom for, for all you do. But from that standpoint, I go to 21 hours, my heart stopped. She, she, she's laying there um, and almost lost her life. And I came into the existence in rejection. So some people watching this live, understand this, that what I love to talk about and love to express in my past is that they are universal truths. Pain, suffering, joy, victory, and defeat um, goes beyond race and culture. But I remember being very angry as a kid. Um, my father rejected me, and then I was raised by my stepfather, who later on abused me. So for no reason at all, uh, my, my, my stepfather, 6'4", 240 pounds, would come home each day. And uh, depending on how he felt, if things happened in the street that didn't go his way, I would become his punching bag that night. Mm. So, so I'm, I'm a little kid um, holding my breath, Austin, hoping that, hey, he will leave me alone tonight. He won't come in my room. He won't shake my dresser, empty my clothes on the floor. And he wouldn't hang me upside down and, and beat me. This was my prayer. You know, where most kids were thinking, okay, um, my, my room's not clean or I'm going to get in trouble. I'm going to go to timeout. I was taking a pounding um, almost weekly at one point. Um, and I would say to myself, why? Didn't understand why. So I grew up angry. My father lived 30 minutes from me. Um, I've seen him five to six times in my life. Um, and so I remember being this angry kid growing up. A little bit of my story, I grew up angry. Uh, and at 19, I got to the point where mental health in our community and the African-American community was not so easily uh, talked about or expressed during those days. Mind you, I was in the inner city projects and I always turned to writing. So I started winning contests when I was a kid and um, didn't know I was going to be a writer. It was just the constant. This was something that I could actually go into my pen and paper. And remember those fat pencils? Yes. Those fat pencils and that little, you know, kind of like if you end. race too hard. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Make some mess on the page. Yeah. Right. Make a mess on the page. I've still and got some here. You still got some of those? <laughs> yes, you got to send those to me after the show, right? So I was like... <laughs> writing these things down and not knowing what was going on. And I'm going to combine this story, right? So imagine I'm going through this particular thing and I turned to drama and arts. I was really gifted in acting and drama, um, but that wasn't a cool thing as being a project kid. So I remember going to this oratorical contest and I remember killing it. I memorized a five minute monologue of poetry and I got up and practiced mm -hmm. for weeks, I think even months. And I believe some of it went like this. It says, it was funny how you opened up with Martin Luther King, Mandy, because my, mm -hmm. I, my first poem at this oratorical contest was, uh, If I Can See Tomorrow. Oh, and it started goosebumps. like this in the sixth grade. Mm -hmm. Sixth grade, I, I was up there, imagine, palm sweaty, um, this African-American kid, um, you know, all white judges at the particular mm -hmm. time, me getting up, um, inner city kid, first time I got to stage, and I said, if I can see tomorrow, I wouldn't forget mm -hmm. about the things today. I would focus on the brightest things and still show others the way. I would tell them that drugs and violence is not how it's done, but by giving and by sharing and by loving everyone. I remember killing it five minutes of this mm. um, and the applause, even the judges began to cry. And at the end of the day, I'm sitting on that stage proud. And they told me, um, you know, to stand here with all the participants. And I was sure of myself, mm. I knew I had won. And they got to second runner up, such and such. My name wasn't called. First runner up. I'm like, I know I at least got second runner up. A first runner up, at least. My name wasn't called. Lastly, I announced an individual who messed up his speech. They ended up giving him the award and I was crushed. I looked at my mother with tears in my eyes and I said, I would never write again. 
I would never write again. And so fast forwarding that up to 19, I stopped writing uh, to the point of writing that way. And I remember coming home from college, not knowing what was going on. I had been crying, missing class, almost flunked out of my freshman year because I was so depressed. I didn't know what depression was. I was sitting there Christmas day, 1995. There was a bottle of pills. I grabbed a bottle of pills and I said, I want to end my life. Um, I'm, I'm tired of living like this. And I took the pills, began to hyperventilate. I was rushed to the emergency room, I was rushed to the doctor's office after many hours of evaluation. By the grace of God, I was actually released. So what I'm saying about this is just some of my life mm -hmm. that I realized that writing was my outlet. Mm -hmm. So as you see the long bio, or the short bio, the comments that Austin made, I write because I have content. I have stories. It is the only thing I love about writing is that it is fair. It is just, it's always an outlet to show up. And now I impact other people around the country and the world to milk the crisis. I will say this before I pass it back over. You're not what you have touched, but you are imprinted by what you hold on to. Let me say it again. You're not what has touched you or you have touched yourself. But if you hold on to that thing in your life, it becomes an imprint. But if you let it go, you can use it as fuel for your next level. Beautiful. I, I absolutely love that. It's not what you've touched. It's what you can hold on to, the thing that you can hold on to and use as fuel for your next level. That is so precious. So pr what a beautiful legacy to leave for everybody going forward from from this point in time that's just absolutely incredible and the fact that it, it's not unsimilar to me actually it's not unsimilar to me writing became my own therapy when i was a kid yes and you too i too had the content you had the great content and it became therapy to you and you were able to focus on that, release all the content which served to stabilize the depression, shall we say, even after a suicide attempt. So yes. I just, I honor you richly. I just honor you richly. This is beautiful. That, beautiful. That you. Can't hear you, Austin. Oh, somehow I went on mute. <laughs> I thought you finished. But anyway, I... I First of all, I want to honor you for sharing your story. And mm -hmm. one of the things we say, when someone, someone shares their story, you're on sacred ground. That's right. Mm -hmm. And so you just, you, this is sacred ground, what you're sharing. And there's a lot, I, I want to grab some shares here from our audience. Uh, Maribel sharing, thank you for sharing. Thank God you overcame and are a role model to make a difference. Mm -hmm. God bless you, Dr. Oliver Reed. Awesome bless you. story. And, you know, just a, but this is so profound because there's so many people that didn't go the right road. Mm. Think about it. There's so many opportunities to go the wrong road. And when somebody goes the right road and, and, and becomes a light, it's something to be celebrated. Yeah. And we want you to share this with somebody because when you share this with one person that needs to hear this, this story today could touch, could touch, turn someone's life around it's that profound so yeah uh, I, dana's on here she's saying that's profound what a story writing makes sense it was a sense of escape and therapy as a young man yes mm. yeah so we got lots of beautiful shares here lots of love coming in powerful uh, people telling me i'm muted of course <laughs> <laughs> the power of words is absolutely yes. profound. Yes. People do not realize the power of words. Yes, and, and I can and relate to your story. Yeah. No. We all can. I think we all had food stamps. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that yes. embarrassing moment. It, yes. Yeah, right? I remember... I, I, we had to go and get our uniforms, our school uniforms in this big building in downtown Birmingham, UK. 
Mm -hmm. And anyone who went into this particular branch of that building, everyone knew they were on welfare. Very embarrassing, struggling times. And with all three of us, this is uncanny. Yeah. All three of us can yeah, relate we, to we, this story. All... Yeah. And I remember getting the, we used to get the cheese, you know, the cheese was a big thing. You go and yep. get the cheese. So, but um, what do you, if you're in, the, if you're listening live on the playback, can you think of a tough moment in your life, your story? Because we're going to get into that. What Was there a tough moment in your story that you're resonating with this? And we want to, I want to give an announcement here. This is very exciting. We need the belt. Doc, so Dr. Reed is going to be a guest speaker at Flashpoint 4.0. Yes. Woo! So excited. Awesome. And going to be in the docu our next documentary. One of the five. We're be featuring yes. five stories. And Dr. Reed's going to be one of them. Wow. I got chills. Uh, and we, we, we uh, it's, this is going to be awesome. It is going to be absolutely awesome. You want to get your ticket for Flashpoint 4.0. We, uh, we are going to do a secondary documentary with 10 people. I haven't officially rolled that out yet, but right now we have five. I got three, three of those spots filled. There's two more. It's by application only. Those people are being selected and vetted because it's a special thing we're doing with this documentary. And we know it's going to touch the world because it's going to paint the story. It's going to touch yeah. the story. And then you're going to see this Dr. Reed present on stage. So we're going to go deeper into the story and then to get your story out. That's the thing we want to transition to now with yes. maybe in the next five minutes or so uh, just to hit that. Cause this has become, you know, it's like, you were you be, you become a master right in the in the tough times it's making sense of your own story it's it's the thing that touched you you decided you weren't going to hold on to it and let it imprint you you let it go and writing became your channel and now you you're prolific you've helped hundreds of people get their story out and you have a a really unique process for doing it so I'd like for you to speak on that a little bit because that's something we're going to lead up to Flashpoint. Now, before I turn it over to you, I don't want anybody to wait. Like, don't wait for, like, connect with Dr. Reed today. Mm -hmm. Don't, certainly you can connect to Flashpoint 4.0, but connect today. Have a conversation because from a conversation, it doesn't mean you're like, you're, you might not be starting today, but that conversation is a start. So Dr. Reed, let me turn it over to you. Yes. Uh, thank you so much. I'm so excited about Flashpoint documentary. Oh my goodness, I'm trying not to run around the room. It's really been a dream come true. That's <laughs> what me. it does. That's what it does to you. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know, so I can feel the energy. Yeah. Um, and is 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 no um irony in the fact that um uh, there was well, there's irony in the fact that there was thunder on you guys side, because usually when there's there's a major thing happening, you know, major guys are you know kind of yeah, responds, the, right? The gods so, are um, working for us. Right. Where there's thunder, there's lightning. <laughs> there's yeah. light. So basically, um, I'm excited. Um, but one of the biggest things that I always do, um, I realized that, you know, in writing these books, it took me 10 years to write my first book because I didn't have a system. I didn't have a thing to plug it into. Um, and I always say I'm from the South. So I always say in the South, we say uh, fitna or getting ready to. So where we say fitna. So I always say sometimes we get stuck in the kingdom of fitna. You know, we get, uh, we're going to do it. You know, I was killing stages. I was, I was speaking, but I didn't have a book. So it took me 10 years of loss to realize when I first did my first book, man, if I ever get through this and I end up spending a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of people telling me that they can help and didn't. And so one of the biggest things that I set out to do and stumbled in being a writing coach was I said to myself, if I get through this, finally, I am going to help other people. And so that's what things I've done. I actually wrote the first book. It opened up so many doors. And I would say this before I go into the process that if you are an author, I mean, I'm sorry, if you are a speaker, entrepreneur, or a coach uh, in that space and you don't have a book, you're leaving thousands of dollars on the table. But most of all, you're, you're leaving millions of opportunities on the table that dollars can't pay for. And what I mean by that relationships or uh, when you get a book and people start to see your story uh, or you write a book and somebody sees your story, you connect on a higher frequency that opens up business. You know, I've been told this so many times as a businessman, you need to learn golf, right? You need to get on the golf course and you need to get out with people. That's what deals are made. Listen, my friend, I want to correct that. Yes, deals are made on the golf course, but the book 
is still the number one lead generator in the world. Name a successful coach. Name a successful personality. Name anybody on the top of their field that does not have a book. They all have one thing in common as a book. The number one best-selling book of all time is still the Bible. It is the number one anthology in the world. And I always say this. I have a T-shirt. I don't have it on today. But I always say this. Even God had a book. What is your excuse? Right? And I want to oh, say this. Yes. You know, I want to say God had a ghostwriter. God had a <laughs> ghostwriter. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I got to get the shirt. We got to tap. There you go. You got to get that shirt. God had a ghostwriter. God had a ghostwriter. Oh. It's so amazing. I might have to use that on the stage, right? This week. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. That's so good. I love it. So good. So, so basically, your story is your secret sauce. Hmm. All of us on this uh, broadcast right now have things in common, but we have our own unique story that we write inside of our own book. And I always tell people, my clients that I work with, my friends, I always tell them, right, you become a book. Don't just write it, mm-hmm. right? So one thing I teach in the process is how to embrace your story, how to write it out, and that makes your secret sauce, right? And I say this all the time. McDonald's is not battling with Rue Chris. They all have a secret sauce. They all are called to a different demographic. But the commonality is they all serve food. Right. So your story, right, begins with four steps. I always say the milk writing system is something I created that helps you cut your time in half, thirds, quarters, whatever. But what it really does is remember the story um, or, or the, uh, the colloquialism or the slang term that we will use here in the United States, I'm sure all over, where people say, hey, that person is really milking it. Yes. You know, milking hey, it for what he it's is worth. really milking it. He is really yes. milking it. But I want to encourage you to take that negativity, spend it on this actress, and you need to milk your story. I was reading something. It takes 72 hours for the milk from a local farm just to leave the farm to go be tested, to show up in your Whole Foods or show up in your stores or your Walmart. That. So if that's the case, some of you have great things in you. And you're saying, hey, somebody said it before. I've heard that before. People have been abused before. What's going to be different about my story? It's going to be your secret sauce and your milk. It's the way you share it. Um, And so I'm looking forward to helping people get their stories out. But the biggest thing is when you face fear, you become fearless. There was a time I didn't want to tell my story, my uncut story, um, because I wanted to water it down because I didn't think it was good enough. Your story matters and it changes lives. And I can't tell you how many times I've shared my story of overcoming mm-hmm. suicide, Austin and Mandy, mm-hmm. and somebody I never met before inbox me and say, I got a hold to your book that would have never met me before mm-hmm. and said, I was reading your chapter about suicide and I didn't end my life. That's something I was saying earlier mm-hmm. that's more than money. That's more than a speaking engagement. You can't the put a price on it. Words. Yeah. It you can't, can't put, a, put price a price on it. On it. No. Absolutely. No, words so you're, words you're words count. Out the notion, words matter. That's what you I've do. got goosebumps you, you all over. And Maribel saying you've energized me. So here's what to do. What to do, right? Because if you don't do anything, it, it's gone. It, you know what it yep. is? It's this. The law of diminishing intent. It's gone. Yep. So when do we hmm. do it? Now. Now. What do don't we do now? Wait. Go to the website and book a call with Dr. Reed. What else can you do now? Get a ticket for Flashpoint 4.0. Get your ticket when? Now. Now. We have VIP tickets left. You can get your ticket and you can join us. And Dr. Reed's going to be speaking there. And guess what else is going to happen? He's going to be telling his story all weekend because we're going to be recording it, not only just the stage part, but the part throughout all the sub stuff that's going to happen that weekend is going to be awesome. And I just want to encourage you as much as I can to get involved, get involved, get involved, schedule the call. So I'm going to drop the link here for everybody for the event. Everyone on here is on here for a reason. It's happening right now. Life is touching you through the words of Dr. Oliver, myself, Austin. It's happening right now. And if you don't get engaged, like, like you just said, the law of diminishing intent, it's gone. Don't yep. wait. Don't stop. Don't let the mind take over and create the fear. Become fearless. Step into your power. Step into your courage and get in touch with Dr. Oliver to do this. It's so powerful. 
Yes, and Maribel, you can do it virtually. She's asking virtually. And whoever buys a ticket right now, I'll give you these Flashpoint sunglasses. Man, those are so cool. I can't wait to Oh, they're cool. These are like world famous. <laughs> we have somebody, Diane from South Africa wants yeah, these. Yeah, she does. Um, all right, Amazing. so what I want to do, we got, we, we were, we were at 337. We have Dr. Andrea Adams Miller in the green room. She's the publicist and the sponsorship acquisitionist for Flashpoint 4.0. And I wanted to give this an opera. I love the synergy that happens when people meet like this. So if you're listening, I want you to stay with us. And I want you to welcome back to the program. Give me a thumbs up, Dr. Andrea, are you ready? So welcome to the program, Dr. Andrea Adams Miller. Um, welcome, hi. Thank you. So when well, two, two doctors are joined together, Anyone else in the room becomes a doctor. So That's I'm right. Dr. Doctor, and, doctor. I'm, and I'm Dr. Mandy. <laughs> well, with, you, with you the could quad be. doctors. <laughs> yeah, easy to do. Easy to do. Um, I'm so uh, glad, uh, Dr. Oliver, that uh, we'll get to meet. And I love your story and what you, you're doing. And I uh, certainly always appreciate people who help other people get their voice out through books and publishing as well. So I'm so looking forward to us coordinating as well. So I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, Dr. Andrews. Yeah. Yep. So we're, we're glad you're here. We, we've had you on the show. You have an incredible resume yourself. <laughs> so we are putting, and I'll tell you just for the audience, forget, just forget me for a second. Forget Mandy for a second, right? You get in the room at Flashpoint 4.0, Dr. Andrea Adams Miller is going to be there. Dr. Oliver T. Reed is going to be there. Marlon Mueller is going to be there. Farm boy to multimillionaire. Jose Escobar is going to be there, mastering your morning and evening routine. We're filming a documentary. Rocky Proximity Steps. Power. <laughs> so, Dr. Second Andrea, back to you. Oh, well, cool. I, I just am uh, I'm envisioning all this wonderful stuff. Well, um, I, I wanted to bring the attention back to Austin and the fact that if you don't think you're seeing enough of Austin and you want to see more, which of course you do. I mean, who doesn't want to see more of Austin and spend time with him and be with him? Uh, he's going to be speaking July 31st uh, near uh, BWI Airport. We're having an event there called the Leaders Amped for Change Experience. And Amped stands for authenticity, music, philanthropy, entrepreneurship, and duty. So that's duty and military and so forth. And we are having uh, different speakers from all those different areas who are going to be there. And we're really going to have this. Um, it's not going to be your traditional uh conference or so and that's why we're not calling it that we're calling it an experience where we literally want people to come together to build connection and community so that you leave with actionable steps to change the world for positive we want you to have that global nudge to be able to do whatever you want to do so that you change things the way you want them to be so our our one guy uh, ted uh, blickwettel he um is a whistleblower uh, for the va a veterans administration and he oh by the I have good news. He just got, he, he's trying, he spent over $150,000 trying to get legislation passed so wow. that the uh, veterans who have um, mental health challenges, including PTSD, have the services that they were promised. And we just found out uh, the other day that the House approved it. Uh, mm. So, um, so now we got to get it through Senate. And then it'll be uh, voted on. So ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I don't have a bell. <laughs> I have one. That's what we got the Liberty Bell today instead of the oh, cowbell. Cool. We got the Liberty Bell. Dr. Andrea. Philadelphia. Just, yeah. be just before you carry on, just, just say the name of that conference again. It's the Airport Leaders Amped for. It's, um, well, it's the Leaders Amped for Change Experience. Change Experience. Thank yeah. you. And Amped stands for Authenticity music, philanthropy, and to entrepreneurship and um, duty. And, and so the music, we're going to have two musical, um, really cool people there. So one of them is Uwe, Uwe Collins. He's Bootsy Collins' son. In fact, his <laughs> dad, Bootsy, just uh, had his hand in helping uh, Bruno Mars get a Grammy the other week. Wow. And uh, uh, so Uwe 
uh, Uwe Collins in the Funk Squad. Uh, Uwe will be representing his band. And then Tim Colby, he plays the harmonica and he's a percussionist. He wrote a song that's going to be um, played at the Pentagon on 9-11. And wow. he's going to be revealing that for the first time at our event. And uh, I have a, another gentleman where we're, we're going to be playing a song that he gifted our nonprofit um, and all the money's raised from whatever happens with that song. Uh, so we have the rights to do whatever we want with it. We'll go towards people who are struggling for more. So um, it's called Why Can't We Live as One, Gino Gerusi. So we'll mm -hmm. be uh, playing that too. So so lots of cool music. So you'll be with celebrities and yeah. all this cool stuff in Austin. Yeah. And what date is really that for anyone that wants to come? What it's date July is that? It's July 31st. And I just had to reset the, the website. So it said it's repopulating. So you can go to ampedforchange.com, ampedforchange.com. So just know when you go there, it'll say parked here right now. But that's okay. <laughs> So park right there, or you can just text me. My phone number is right here. Yeah. You can just text me and say, hey, Andrea, send me the info. And, yes. I'll, or, and I'll just text, actually just text me. That's easier. <laughs> or you can connect with me at chatwithaustin yeah. or austinhaines.com. You can go to my website. I'll put that up here. You can, there's a spot there to book a call. You can definitely join. And I know Dr. Reed would be there if he was in town, but he's actually in Memphis, Tennessee right now. He's speaking at an event. He's going to be speaking you're speaking tomorrow and um, Sunday, right? Saturday. Okay. Tomorrow and Saturday. Yeah. Tomorrow and Saturday. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Otherwise, I know you would be there with with bells on. Well, it's not yes. yet. So the thirty first, I think you're also speaking somewhere else. Another yeah. weekend. So, um, by the there. way, we'll be there the night before and that night. So we're going to be doing an after hours uh, kind of meet special mm. upgrade meet and greet for people who are with us today. By the way, I had I, I changed something. So we we were initially going to just charge everybody to come in. Um, I have decided to make it a donation only. So that way you donate oh, wow. what you want to. So if you are able, so suggested donation is ninety seven, but that doesn't mean you have to. Um, you're more than welcome to give more. You're oh. more than welcome if you financially cannot to do less than then you do what works we we want people who really care about change to be there mm -hmm. and uh, um and so definitely we are there to raise money as well as to share a message and so i wanted to make this as easiest for people to come as possible and then we'll be doing a special meet and greet um i purposely got a, a sweet room so we can go up and hang out and maybe do a jam session <laughs> and all of that it's gonna be a lot of fun a lot yeah. of fun. So, so, Dr. Reed, I know you you have you may have to exit because you got stuff to do. You're just in town. Is there anything else you want to share? No, I, I just want to tell everybody thank you, and I definitely would love to be at this next event, Dr. Andre. I'll definitely, if y'all open up virtual, maybe I can pop in. Oh, <laughs> but well, well, we'll work it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> awesome. There you go, Dr. Reed. Thanks for being here. Make sure thank you, you book you, Dr. with Dr. Oliver. Reed. What if you pleasure. haven't already, make sure you go to the website, connect with Dr. Reed. I, and I did put a different did. website in. I did put to go to www.milkwritingsystem.com for the free call. That you oh, yeah, there it is right there. So you can yes. book a free be, book a free strategy call, milkwritingsystems.com. There it is. Right. Dr. Thank Reed, you. thanks. We'll be talking soon. God bless you, brother. Right. God bless God you. Bless. Bye -bye. Oops. Oops. I accidentally removed Mandy. There she is. Oh, she'll get to come back with a new ta-da. Oh, you know, we'll just okay. queen oh, her. Okay. There we go. <laughs> yeah, ta-da. Yes. Uh, well, so thank you so much for having me on again, Austin, so that we can be sharing people. You know, we will show the clip from the documentary. I got uh, permission to get that all showed up and get a projector. So we'll be able to show uh, one of the trailers and um, it's going to be a really great time. I'm so excited about what's going to happen there. So, yay. I am too. I'm excited to be working with you. I want to encourage everybody to connect as well. If there's anything you want to share, but I mean, you're basically publicist sponsorship acquisition is for me, but there's so many things you do well. And that's why I'm excited to be connected. Is there anything else you want to share with, with the audience that would be well, a good I, connection I, point? I can share maybe something. I, I It's not official yet. So I, mo I know a lot of people say, well, I don't like to say things because I don't want to make them you know, like what, what do they say? Not make them come true. I'm not jinxing anything. I'm speaking it into reality. reality. So, speaking it into reality. Um, speak it into existence. Yeah. So I've been uh, called several times by a gentleman. Uh, they want to hire me to be their uh, correspondent. And so uh, when everything goes through, I'll be, um, 
covering like their Gucci events and the Super Bowl and uh, stuff wow. like that. So, wow. um, so they'll be sending me out wow. to cover all of those things. So that'll be quite fun. And I'm looking forward to that. And, you know, uh, things like all, exp all expenses paid trip, paid trip to go to, you know, four seasons and Super Bowl. Well, that sounds fun to me. Oh yeah, all expenses paid trip. Bring me up. Bring yeah. it on. I'm coming with yeah. you. Yeah. 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 So pay when you're paid and your expenses are paid. Yeah, that's a good day. Oh, Dana yes. said manifest. So yeah. uh and and I've been doing some things like that already in the world. I go to events and cover them and cover red carpet and meet people. And mm. uh so they want me to be their connector. They said that's what they love about me is um that I right. really care about relationship capital. So you, that's you, so fun. You. That's one of the reasons why we're working together because of relationship building. You had connected with me. You sent me text messages. You, you took a picture. You took a picture of the picture that we took together and you just kept staying in touch. And that's how this happened. Everyone Keep so, showing up. Keep so, showing uh, up. Right. So Dr. Andrea lives this. It's not like, hey, I'm here. I do this. It's you are naturally a, you're naturally a connector. Well, I call it living red. So that's my hashtag is living red. So I live with relevance, enthusiasm and delivery. And if you do all three, you hit your target market each time. So super love it. Oh, thank you, Oliver. He's so sweet. So we we're, we got about 12 minutes left in the show. Cool. Dr. Andrea, is there anything else you want to share? Mandy and I are going to close the show out today. And by the way, if you're listening and something moved you today, share a word how you're feeling right now, a word. What's a word that's, what's a word that could best describe how you're feeling? Live, playback, I don't care. Type that word in right now. Inspired. Yes. So Mandy's inspired. So you got to move it, move it. How were you moved? <laughs> move. Got to move it, move it. How are you being moved? How um, are you being moved? Yeah. What's so your word, one, Dr. Andrea? One of the things I'd love to share, Austin. So Austin connected me with Jose Escobar, and I was on one of his programs the other night for mm. his um, his group. See, I and like. I ended up sharing a lot of things that people have been texting me and writing me saying, hey, can you tell me more? Because I was telling them how they could really align themselves with publicity and, and do some other things for themselves for connection. And these are things that you can do prior to coming to Austin's event so that you get some love for yourself while giving it to Austin. So for example, um, you know, let's start letting people know, say, wow, I'm so excited. I just was uh, part of Flashpoint TV today and I can't wait to be, um, go and hang out with, you know, Austin and Dr. Reed and, uh, you know, Mandy and whoever else has come. I forget all who's all coming now. <laughs> You know, and then you don't have to list everybody at the same time or list everybody and tag everybody that brings attention to you as well. And then mm -hmm. it, it doesn't make you look braggy. It looks like you're elevating other people and That's we're right. not going to mind. No one, nobody minds if you're saying, oh, I can't wait to see you. You know, they're no. yes. they might go, oh, don't, but they love it. <laughs> and so it sure. makes them look good. It makes you look good. And if you guys reach out to me, um, you have my cell phone number right there. Mm -hmm. Just text Text me your name, uh, your full name, and then um, put Flashpoint or or write Austin, whatever's easier for you. Actually, put Flashpoint because then I'll know where I can where you came from, and because I get so many texts today, hundreds. So if you um, so just your full name and write Flashpoint, then I'll know you came from this program, and so mm -hmm. that way I always make sure I know who you're connected to, and and we make sure we love on you related to Austin, so when Austin's people connect with me, they get loved on and get extra perks and benefits. So. Yeah, mm -hmm. and guess what? What? That's what Dana is saying, right? Dana connected with you yeah. through me, right? And yeah. How's that going? Oh, she's been wonderful. She's really been a huge asset. She's been helping me promote uh, the show and helping me get some things aligned, help me with spacing. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, Duchess. Uh, yes, she knows about the movement. Uh, yes, we have a picture of you with the keep smiling card. So uh, love that. Um, oh, th oh. <laughs> uh, if the Brady's at the Super Bowl. Well, we'll, we'll see. I, I know it was funny. I've only told three people and all three of them have put their bidding in. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> thank you, Duchess, for that. Um, yeah, it's pretty fun. Everybody's like, well, you got to have somebody's got to sleep on the other side of the bed, right? <laughs> you know, <laughs> 
<laughs> so they're, they're can I sleep on the couch? Can I sleep on the floor? It's been really fun to share that. So we'll we'll see how Exciting. it all goes. Yeah, we'll, so, we'll speak it into fruition. So thank you guys. And then there's some you. other things I can share that I shared at Jose's that some of you didn't get to hear. So I'd be happy to do that with you. Just reach out to me. Reach out and touch me. There you go. So reach out. Thanks for being here. And you and I will connect. Cool beans. All right, guys. Have a great God rest bless. of the show. I'm going to go to the pool with the kudos. Bye. 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 <laughs> All right, Mandy. Wow. We have... Eight minutes left in the show. Uh, there's so much that happened here today. And I want to so encourage much. the audience to type in a word that you're feeling right now. So much happening. Something. What are you feeling? What's happening? Perhaps you need a breath. I feel that calming energy kind of come in. It's just Yeah, don't. Don't get overwhelmed in all of this excitement. Thank love you. the journey. Enjoy, but don't get overwhelmed. Thank Pick you. one or two things from this program today that has literally touched you in here and here or moved you or made you just stop and think. Write down what it's made you think and feel. This is what will keep the inspiration and the momentum moving forward. Do not get overwhelmed because then you'll stagnate and you'll do nothing. Hmm. That was perfect timing for that. <laughs> perfect timing. And I think it's a great way to, uh, I'll turn it over to you again. If there's anything you want to share, we have seven minutes left. Maybe we just share some final thoughts on the, on this show today. This show has been super powerful it's it's a super bowl show with super celebrities mm -hmm. and super information and super direction we've got so much direction here yes. to empower ourselves whether it's writing a book whether it's coming to flashpoint 4.0 whether it's getting involved in the power of pure presence the new show whether it's getting involved with flashpoint in the yeah. mornings, the inspiration that you do every day for, yeah. for the first three minutes. And, and then yeah. we have intuitive sessions afterwards. There's so much to get involved with. And yes. what I want people to believe and know, and know this, you can be sitting there saying, and I think it was Dr. Reed talked about this, you know, oh, that's, that's okay for them. You know, they've got money, they've got this, they've got that. But we all have to start somewhere. We all yeah. started somewhere and we all have this uniqueness and skills and talents inside of us. So start now. Don't let fear overwhelm you. Become fearless. Step into your power. Step into your courage and yes. take the action that you need to take to move forward and empower yourself. And everything that's gone on here in this show today is evidence of more that's coming, the options that you can get involved with, yes. even just a conversation with Austin, with Dr. Reed, he's offered a free mm -hmm. consult there, with Andrea, Dr. Andrea. Yes. Have the conversation. You've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. Yeah, and I just want to say here, like I don't have a huge budget, you know, I, I'm not sitting on a pile of money where I'm dumping advertising into this, everyone. I'm just being transparent here. Like I, I'm driving this with blood, sweat, tears, passion, heart, everything. It's not pretty. I'm telling you, I'm being fully transparent, but we, I just keep showing up. Sometimes it's messy. So when we're, Dr. Reed was talking, or Dr. Andrew was talking about sharing this, you don't know how huge that is. Mm -hmm. It is so huge. It's just a, there's a certain book that says many hands make light duty. I can't compete with million dollar budgets. And, and I know people that big names, they spend a million dollars in Facebook ads because yeah. they know they're going to get another million back because they know what you all respond to. That's the way the game works. We're trying to, we're trying to transcend the game. We're trying to, we're trying to do organic. We're trying to reach your heart. If you know, if it's touching your heart, it's moving you. I just ask you share it yeah. like with one person. One person can see a video. One person can pick up a book that's suicidal. One person could be on that, that they've done a lot themselves. They've turned their story around, but they've plateaued and they, they hear this. And maybe they jump into our documentary like Dr. Reed is. Maybe they buy a ticket for Flashpoint 4.0. Maybe they start writing their book. Maybe they grab their journal today because Mandy said, write something down that moved you. 
Because mm -hmm. here's what I know, and this is why I launched Flash uh, Power of Pure Presence. Your brain is in the future. You're already going. When's this over? I got to get to. I got to get this done. I got to get. <laughs> You're already in the future, and believe me, I lived this way, and I still am. Like as my journey unfolds with the power of presence, I'm getting the greatest lesson. But the point is, what is important right now that moved your heart? Can you can you grab that, write that down, and then begin to just expand it and ponder on it. Way. Even if it's it's like it's like if you got a plant and you a beautiful flower, you focus on it, you water it, right? You put the fertilizer in there and you just keep doing it. You don't forget about it. Well, is not your, the seed of your dream, your passion, your purpose, is that not more than a flower? Just to add to that, the ancient writer said, when you latch onto that seed, ponder on it, become absorbed in it, so that your advancement may become manifest. So if you've got that seed and you've written it down, ponder over it. Let your mind become absorbed in the idea. Let it expand. Let it ripple out. And the more you do that, the sooner it will manifest into fruition in your experience. And I'm going to go back to the quote that I shared earlier. <clears throat> Many ideas grow better mm. when transplanted into another mind than the one where they sprang up originally. Many of you have so many ideas, inspirations, dreams, and they're in here. And you're afraid to share with somebody else. You're afraid to have a conversation with somebody else. But the moment that you do, the moment that you do, that idea it germinates. It germinates. It germinates and goes from there. So final shares here from the audience show up. Beautiful. DJ. Dana. Yes. We all sure did start somewhere. Become fearless. Be courageous. The rest will follow. If you take the first step, take the leap of faith. We got some love going on here in the chat. It's beautiful. 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 Love show the love. Up. Love the love. We got the power of pure presence Sunday at 10 a.m. Got an incredible show for you. You will cry. You will feel deeply. You will be moved. I've already recorded it. I'm going to figure out a way to air it because I'll be at the ultimate speaker competition starting tomorrow. I'll be at the ultimate speaker competition with Christoph J. Weinman, Gordon Berdecki. Be here now. Begin with the result already, already in your mind. You may say, well, that's in the future. Well, you're bringing it right now. You're bringing it into this moment. Thank you, Ivy. And we're gonna we're gonna end with that. Write it down, Mandy. Mandy, final word. We got we got we got a minute. Final word. Just Yours. much great gratitude to everybody that's been on here today. This is about you. It's not about us. And Austin will say that every day of his life. It's not about me. It. We're just the conduits, right? It's about you. It's about your journey. It's about your growth. It's about fulfilling your dreams, reaching your highest purpose and bringing to fruition everything that's in here and here that the world needs to see and hear. This is the platform to get it all done. And it begins right here, right now in this present moment. And I urge every single one of you to hook into everything we've got going on here with Austin, with Flashpoint, with the power of pure presence, with Dr. Andrea, with Dr. Oliver Reed, Dana, Duchess DJ, Ivy, everybody that's on here. This is a community, it is an entity, and it is in motion. Get on board now. Get on board, everyone. I just dropped the link in for the power of pure presence on Sunday. You can respond to that. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Mandy, thank you so much You're for welcome. always being an incredible pro, gracious host, edifying loving, holding space here for everybody. So God bless everyone. Thank you. God Make bless everyone. Day fantastic. I'll see you tomorrow. Have an morning. awesome day. Bye-bye. Love you all.